Yeah, sorry I had to get a little salty there, but now we're back. Good morning. Don't you want a morning kiss? No, please do not touch me. I <laughs> get rejected. Oh, Yuri, are you feeling better now? Yeah. How about you guys? Are you all right? Yes, it would seem that way. We all collapsed in the desert, right? So what are we doing in this town? Seems like someone came to our aid. Though we're not sure who. I wonder what kind of praiseworthy fellow could cross such a toasty desert and save so many people. Not me, honestly. We need to find whoever it was and thank them. What about the couple who was with us? They appear to have been brought here as well. So they didn't get a look at our rescuers either? Apparently they lost consciousness like the rest of us. I believe the two of them are having a look around town. They were probably also, like, bored by watching that fight. I wonder, was it just a mirage? What do you mean? Oh, just before I blacked out, I saw that dragon that got the air under control back at Kados. Really? Yeah. Didn't you see it, Estelle? No, I didn't see anything. Then that monster must have saved us or something. The monster saved us? I can't believe that. Monsters are good. Don't don't pull my leg. Was it just a mirage then? So what's the story? Where exactly are we? The kindly gentleman is looking into that very matter for us. Kindly gentleman? Oh, you mean the old man. What makes Raven a kindly gentleman? Just saying. I like Raven. He's great, but what makes him a kindly gentleman? Oh, hey, guys. There's no barrier here. This town is weird. I thought the mountains in the east were supposed to be uninhabited. Rita, Carol, over here. What's that? The monster that attacked us in the desert dropped it. I didn't see any feathers on that thing. That's one of Pharaoh's feathers. But why would that monster have one of Pharaoh's feathers? Hmm. Man, there's so much we don't know. Welcome back. And just why was it up to me to go tromping off on a recon mission? If I'd gone, this sweet young lady would have been all alone with you. That's far too unsafe. Unsafe? You can't possibly mean me. <laughs> Honestly, fair point. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm gonna gag. Suppose I don't mind people thinking I'm dangerous. It's, it seems we're oh, in Jormgen. You know, that town from the diary on the ghost ship. Wait, this is Jormgen? The town that needed the clear seal crystal to protect itself from monsters? It makes sense. They don't have a barrier here. That must be why they were searching for a way to drive away the monsters. But that was a thousand years ago. Yeah, and I find it strange that they were getting by at all without a barrier. You're right. Aye. What if we were to show this case to one of the locals and ask them? Yes, we might learn something about Pharaoh that way as well. I agree. Heartland Town, Jormgen. Dude, Jormgen is so peaceful. I want to live here. Can I just, like, rent a place here? Not a normal monster. What was the deal with that weird monster we ran into in the sands of Kogor? Just the thought of it still sends chills down my spine. Was that thing even alive? Huh? What do you mean? Well, it wasn't anything like other creatures that make their home in the desert. Huh. Another astute observation from Captain Carroll. Whatever it was, I hope we never see it again. Me too. Oh, dude, me three. I don't want to ever see that thing again. More importantly, I don't want to fight it ever again. Max out on items because, like, like out of everything. Any weapons I can buy? Ooh, we can get um 
No, we already have a great delusion. We already have this for repeat, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any other, um... Any other, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Second attack. Meh, I don't really use Carol too much, so honestly... I just want to see if there's anything new, but I doubt it. Yeah, no, no other altered arts right now. Never mind, we have these for Rita. Glowing ribbon plus 1A. Luckily, luckily I have two gold ribbons. Glowing ribbons, words. Get both of those. For my girl. I think I know what arts these give. Pretty sure I remember. Or so are, we just, are we just like talking to people? Or do we just go like all the way to the north, assuming there's something special there? Um, I'm gonna change characters. Plays Rita for a bit. It's about time. We do have Wallace now, which is actually one of the best formulas. Sure, all right. Oh, it's tightly shut. Can't do anything there. Anyone want to explain? Oh, th these are the uh, parents. Thank you so much for saving us. I want to hurry back to Man Take to see the kids. The kids must be worried. If only they didn't come looking for us. Thank you for the tent. Oh, hey. That box. Do you know something about this box? Launchy had it. Where did you get it? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum, too? Uh, y yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be... Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Your love. Damn it. Hey, Carol. Your turn. You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, uh, my name is Yuathon. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. Is that what's in the box? Yes. We came to deliver this box to you. I... I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? Should we really be giving away that box? I'm just saying. Wow. Is this the clear seal crystal? Looks like it. It's so sparkly and glittery. A treasure even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? Uh... But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emid Hill in Kerbakram. But I don't think that sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. I... I'm sorry. I don't really understand. But the sage said that the clear CL crystal was needed to create the barrier. So long she set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? 
You must be worried. Wait, this sounds weird. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself, but who really knows? Is that Sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes, he lives in the house farthest into the town. That's the one that was locked. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. Yes, maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the Clairciel Crystal to the Sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go. Here you see our crystal. All right. Missing Pharaoh. So after all we went through to cross the desert, we can't meet Pharaoh. And after you've all risked your lives to help me, maybe it's better that we didn't find him after all. Yeah. If we had to fight him now, we probably wouldn't make it out. Think about it though. Pharaoh can fly. He's free to be pretty much anywhere at any time. Tracking him down will be a tall order unless he's got a lair somewhere in the area. Ugh. No one's saying that meeting him will be impossible. We might get some information if we ask around in the town. You're right. Thank you. Both of you. Excuse me. Huh? Hey, that's... Are you the sage? You're... Who exactly? We've run into each other a couple times. You? How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier blastia, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an apatheia? That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! He's crazy. It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Lock! Oh, man. Just when I found one. The Apathea bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? It's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, uh, the Apathea, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? 
against a child of the full moon. Probably you're pure, you're too pure hearted. I'm just picking at straws. What is this power the child of the full moon possesses that they despise? They're jealous, Estelle. That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelechea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. Well, that's simple. We'll just defend ourselves. But, Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelechea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait, there's something I want to ask you too. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Where do you get off? Rita. Huh, <laughs> that one well. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Bray Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named child of the full moon. Your brother, Bray Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth. And will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the earth, huh? Could protecting the earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? It's a JRPG, probably. You mean like becoming the emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. It's too complicated for you too, old man. I'm a fair touche. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, epithea, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apathea myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to kill over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. Huh, you're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right, see you then. Oh, thank goodness this all worked out. Also, I really don't want to have to cross that desert again. Pretty sure this is the point where we talk to all the party members. 